Yo, Scott, thanks for showing off the cool little logo. Oh, dude, thanks for making it for me. For those of you that don't know, this is uh, this logo right here. This 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 art was made by Jehovah on uh, on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Um, Jehovah spelled with an O, not an O. What the hell? A zero. Excuse me. Not Jehovah spelled with an O. Jehovah spelled with a zero. Okay, you, you I, I I spelled it the right way on the thing. You can see it. But all right, so we got Jack Grady. Gonna go ahead. I think I'll I, I I think I'll try it now. Hopefully I won't end up uh you know. <laughs> Hopefully it won't end up uh going. So Jack Grady is the reason why I wanted to do this. Okay. Um, I wish he was a little bit further up in the card, right? Um, but Jack Grady is the reason I still wanted to do this after Alex Stein because uh for one thing. I know Jack Grady. Not, I'm not like best buds with him or anything like that. But also, Lance knows Jack Grady. And we didn't know this. We didn't know that we both know this guy and that we both talked to this guy until after the tank. It was a funny coincidence. But um, I first got in contact with Jack because I found him through another guy named Jack Grady who was in the bare knuckle boxing world. Um, and, uh, you know, when I saw that this Jack was going to end up having a fight, I was like, oh, dude, totally. Let's like. You know, like, uh, I, I want to help him if I can. So I inboxed him, and, you know, he'd send me uh, footage of him sparring and stuff like that. Um, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd ask me for some tips and stuff like that. Excuse me. Ah, uh, dude. He got in the wrong corner. Oh, and you know what? Excuse me. Um... You guys can hear that okay, right? If something is copyright protected, you'll get a little notice telling you to switch it off in 30 seconds before YouTube cuts the feed. It comes back after like a minute. Okay, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I got too many notifications. So... Jack's a pretty tough kid. I saw him sparring. Oh, dude, what? Oh, all right. Scott, you're my commentary for the fights. Here's your commission. Let's go, Jack Grady. He's He is an OG fan of mine from one year ago. Oh, man, th thank you for that. Thank you for that, Lance. I really appreciate that. All right. The DAZN announcer reminds me of the Glory kickboxing one. You know, Glory is on DAZN, I'm pretty sure. They might be the same they might be the same ones. I don't know. It's possible. Oh man, this is a small ring. This is a this is a pretty small ring from the look of it, you know. Alright. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, you know. It's it's all I always get a little nervous watching somebody that I that I have like some kind of stake in. It's it's not like I was like with this guy through his whole camp. It's just like you know, I like his content for one thing. His content is hilarious. Look up Jack Grady Magic on Instagram. But um, in addition to that, it's it's uh, you know, I tried I tried to help him as best I could. Right? I'm hoping he took the advice. Um, he had he had a good coach. I I saw the way his coach works. He has a good coach. All right, Jack. So some jabs, Magic Crasher, trying to get at it right away. So, Magic Crash, you're trying to push. That's a little bit weird. I think I I don't think it was the worst thing in the world though. Wow, that was an awful jab though. All right, Jack. I yeah, somebody's saying go to the body. I think Jack should go to the body. Uh, there he is. See, one thing you'll notice about Jack is when he gets hit, he doesn't care. I'm not like that. When I get hit, I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. Let's regroup and let's find another way. Jack, he'll just move forward into it and he'll get hit and he'll be like, whatever. So, Magic Crasher is trying to tie up the hands and then throw punches. That's not even the worst thing in the world. It's just he doesn't know how to do it effectively, right? Those, those punches to the body aren't going to do much. Now, Jack, I don't know if he's trying to take it easy or not. Um, you know, to not burn himself out. I would like to see a little bit more urgency out of him. I know he can throw a little bit harder than he is, but I think he's probably afraid that he's... I think he's probably a little bit afraid that he's uh, going to gas out, which, I mean, that's that's a real possibility, you know? If, 
in this round, there's nothing wrong with him taking it easy and letting Magic Crasher kind of do his thing. Right now, I'm not exactly sure who is uh, who is um, winning. I'd say it's pretty even, but either one of them could pull ahead. If Jack keeps going with that double jab cross, um, I think he could take this, especially because Magic Crasher already looks already looks tired. Rocky Stream, thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Oh. The magic testicle. The magic skinhead. Yeah, yeah, you can you can you can see the magic crash is getting a little bit more meek. He's getting walked down, right? And it's like I said, like all the sparring footage I saw of Jack was him just moving forward, getting hit, and not reacting at all. It's it's crazy. He's like he's he's a tough kid, you know. Yeah, his coach is yelling one, two, three from uh from Jack. He wants him to go jab cross hook. That wouldn't be bad, you know. Magic crap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah uh, man. Ah, uh, you see, that was that was a smart move from Magic Crasher. Ah, uh, he said something to him. I don't know what he said, but that was a smart move from Magic Crasher. Was uh was uh you know, try and tie up. Uh, Bopped him. Yeah, you see that that is how you use a push, right? You you see the referee was like, don't push. He didn't stop him from doing it though. He didn't stop the action and warn him or anything like that. And he's about to do it again, I bet. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the magic crasher ever. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if the magic crasher ever. Um, I don't know if he ever sparred. Maybe maybe he did a little bit, but probably not enough. You know, because the way he is right now. I understand, I understand that he's a little, uh, I understand that he's a little, um, what is he? I, I, I understand that he's, he's a little tired, right? Actually, probably very tired. Um, but he's doing things that he really should not be doing, you know? Um, he's probably nervous and he's, he's scared, you know? It sucks getting tired in a fight, dude, because there's, there's a saying, I, I believe it was Dan Gable, um, who is a wrestler from Iowa. Um, one of the best to ever do it. Uh, fatigue makes a coward of us all. And I know because I've felt that before. Legit. One of the fights of mine on YouTube, if you track it down, um, I end up losing not because I actually like legitimately got hit, but because I didn't train for it at all. And I was, I was fucking chain smoking cigarettes the whole, the whole, <laughs> the whole, um, camp. And I got tired and I was just like, dude, this sucks. I ain't trying to do this. So, Crasher's, uh, oh, all right. He's going for it. I, I, I think this, I know Joe thinks this is his last ditch effort. I think he's going to burn himself out, and he's going to end up getting picked apart by Jack. Like I said, Jack's a tough kid, like, for real. You know, I got nothing but respect for him. Looking like a fight in a high school bathroom. Yeah, I, yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Two adult high schoolers. Um, and yeah, yeah, Lance fucking influencer boxing is like it's fun to watch but every now and again it is a little hard to watch oh 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 man i think he fell over from fatigue i think i think he i think he's quitting i think he's about to quit you know not e not even trying to talk like smack at all oh uh, you did he did he i didn't see if he reached the 10 count or not all uh, right so here we go jack good job dude hell yeah Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, like no disrespect to the Magic Crasher at all. All right, I made some jokes. Yeah, whatever. But like, chances are he got really tired. He fell over, and he was just like, "Dude, I can't get back up." And he tried to get back up, but by the time he tried, I think uh, I think um, he probably got counted out. You know, I'd have to see. God damn, he's sleeping. Uh. I heard four and he stopped it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't hear. I think I was, I think I was talking over it. I'll be honest with you. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I thought I saw like more fingers up. You know, that's what I thought I saw, but I, I don't know. All right, yeah. 
Jab. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean... He got hit in a weird spot. If you hit somebody in this general area, right, specifically behind the ear, right? Um, so, I don't know. Maybe he was legit wobbled, you know? I, th I think... Yeah, no, I, I, th I think he was actually wobbled, you know? I bet. Oh, I gotta talk smack to Amber McStravick on, uh, on uh, Twitter. Because she said that the Magic Crasher was going to win. Are these guys supposed to be out of shape? Um, I mean, they're not supposed to be out of shape. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> 